Hola provides a comprehensive suite of tools for PCB fabricators, PCB designers, technologists and material suppliers. This is a brief overview of our complete product line. Polar's suite of tools are a coherent suite of tools that are fast, accurate and easy to use for design and documentation of stack up, pre layout, generating impedance test coupons and insertion loss test coupons, measuring and modelling. They allow you to close the loop between design, measurement and modelling. We've got two tracks of tools, one typically for products that are designed up to one or two gigahertz, the, the lossless impedance tools. And then for people working on higher speed designs, the insertion loss tools, which have all of the features of the lossless tools, plus the ability to model insertion loss. Looking first at the two field solvers, the SI8000 is an entry level field solver for accurate calculation of characteristic impedance. The SI9000 field solver adds to the SI8000 the ability to calculate insertion loss. A brief look at the SI8000 field solver shows you that you can calculate impedance, but also sensitivity to production variation and some basic checks on via signal integrity. The SI9000 has all of those capabilities and adds the ability to calculate insertion loss and model the dielectric constant and loss tangent over frequency uh, via a number of different methods and also to compensate for losses due to surface roughness of the copper using Hammerstad, Grois or Hero methods. Moving on to stack up tools, SpeedStack provides superb professional documentation of PCB stack ups. SpeedStack PCB is designed for documenting PCBs with impedance control and SpeedStack SI for PCBs with impedance control and insertion loss. The Flex and HDI variants add the capability of documenting rigid, rigid flex and HDI stack ups. You can also add in the Flex module the ability to model crosshatch in the, in the impedance control structures. Stack up designed in SpeedStack PCB provides you with a container for all of your materials all of your drilling documentation and all of your controlled impedance structures. And it's a simple step to go from SpeedStack into the SpeedStack report, which looks like this, which gives you a professional document of the materials, impedance structures and drills on your stack up. SpeedStack SI adds the ability to document the transmission line losses in addition to the impedance control data on the stack up that you're working with. SpeedStack Flex allows you to document complex rigid flex PCBs with as many cross sections as you require and SpeedStack HDI allows you to expose the individual lamination cycles of an HDI PCB. When you work with SpeedStack, you often use it pre-layout, so it's quite useful to be able to uh, export the SpeedStack data into a CAD system, so you can export and import stack up data in and out of most popular CAD systems. Likewise, if you're in fabrication, SpeedStack will link seamlessly with your Camco front-end tools. In terms of the I.O. capability, we can export a technical report or through XML data exchange, you can export into Cadence, Mentor, Zucan, Ucamco or into IPC 2581 generic stack up formats. For process control, it's important to build test coupons onto the panel so you can validate the stack up and validate the impedance control and insertion or structures. CGEN PCB works hand in hand with SpeedStack to generate impedance coupons for your stack up and CGEN SI is an excellent tool for making insertion loss coupons. Although you need to consider with CGEN SI it's important that the design authority and the fabricator work together because the launch of the insertion loss coupons is quite critical so there does need to be a fair degree of cooperation between design and fabrication in order to generate good insertion loss coupons. Once you've completed your stack and output a test coupon from CGEN, you then need to test the impedance or the insertion loss of the PCB. And for testing impedance, the SITS 880S is the industry standard test system for PCB impedance. 
and it's good for testing both on the PCBs themselves and on test coupons and it's designed for very high levels of repeatability. Once you've completed impedance test, the log file from the SITs can be imported back into the SI8000 or the SI9000 and you can do comparative studies based on the real data from production versus the modelled information in the SI8000. This helps you close the loop between measured and modelled impedance. For PCBs where you need to control insertion loss as well as impedance, the Atlas insertion loss test system allows you to measure insertion loss using septidil, SPP or delta L methods. Just as you could bring the impedance test results back into the SI8000 from the SITs, you can also bring the insertion loss test results back into the SI9000 from Atlas. And this graph shows you how you can look at the uh, full details of the simulated insertion loss and compare that with the measured results that are brought in from the Atlas for comparison. So this concludes our brief overview of Polar Tools for PCB designers, fabricators, technologists, and material suppliers. It's a coherent suite of tools for PCB production, including design and documentation of stack up for both impedance and insertion loss control PCBs, generating of test vehicles, measuring of test coupons and PCBs, and modeling tools based on field solving techniques for both impedance and insertion loss. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like further information, you'll find all the contact details required on the following slide.